guys, again, it's your girl Morings and welcome syempre sa pinaka-paborito nyong segment na kung saan pag-uusapan natin lahat-lahat ang more with Morings. And for today, iibahin natin yung content natin because alam nyo na for the past months na pinag-uusapan natin puro heartbreaks, heartaches, cheating, pangangaliwa, um, ano ba pa meron natin na tinopic natin? Iniwan sa GC, iniwan ng kaibigan. But for day, for for today, let us romanticize breakup. 'Di ba ang hirap i-romanticize ng breakup for the reason na nasasaktan ka, eh. paano mo mararomanticize yung isang bagay that cost you a lot of pain? Na alam mong binigyan ka ng napakadaming iyak or mga damdamin na hindi mo naman gusto. But today, I'm very excited because alam ko maraming kikiligin sa inyong lahat. Kasi kahit si Aps kinikilig dito eh. Maririnig na naman nila yung pangalan mo dito, Aps. Kaya naman for today, wag na natin patagalin pa. Let's give it up for Tans! Hello po! <laughs> si Tans, ba't mo naman sila? Hi, I'm John Tanting from your Mr. Pilipinas Global. Yes, of FYI ha, Mr. Philippines, Philippines Global. So, ibig sabihin nun, you're competing saan? And you're representing Philippines. Yeah, I'll be competing in Thailand in October. Wow, what's your preparation in Yanda? Mostly like yung gym, mm-hmm. yung ano. I think a lot a lot of preparation should also include like your mind, oh, okay. your soul. Kasi when you're gonna be competing, you have to be mentally, most especially mentally ready and physically ready. Napa pressure? Di naman. Hindi, walang, walang kahit na parang, shit, dapat may panalo ko to. Parang, yung pressure ko is from myself. Mm-mm. And then, my dad, he really said to me, huh? may, parang may yak ako. <laughs> ano, he told me na, kahit anong mangyari, we still love you, we will support you. Aww, that's when you cute. have When you have that, it's like, shit, kaya ko to. Exactly. Uy, alam nyo, naririnig ko ha, yung boses ni Slater yung talaga sa kanya. Even the vibe, yung pagtatagalog niya, pag-i-English, and pag-bibisaya. Because he is from Cebu. Where particularly in Cebu? Mandawe City. Ah, Mandawe City. Di ba parang Mandawe na yung marami talagang mga nagpa-pageant-pageant? Mm, Doon sa inyo, no? Mm. Mga magaganda at pogi. Oy, pero today ha, ngayon pag-uusapan natin. Since si Tans, tinanong ko siya ng mga bagay na gusto niyang pag-usapan for today. And he told me that he's comfortable talking about Break up. Pero break up in a way na hindi naman yung usual na pinag-uusapan natin patungkol sa yung nasasaktan ko or, or what. Kasi, di ba nagkaroon ka na ng jowa? Girlfriend. Yeah. And par nag-break kayo, but you feel like that is one of the best things that happened to you. consider mo siyang ganun? Yeah, because after the first breakup that I had, the first person I called was my dad. Like minutes after. And then we had that talk and, and I was just in the CR and then I remember calling him and then he just gave me that talk. And he calmed me down and parang, when I look back at this, like the co- a core memory me and my dad have, mm-hmm. I'm like, them. And then like ever since then, like he would ask me, "Come stuck and then and then like I, w- I felt so comfortable. And I remember I told some of my classmates about that. Parang, they don't have that with their dad. And I was like, "Sakit naman, pero I'm so blessed that I have someone I could just talk to mm-hmm. about stuff like that." Pero dad is boy ka. Parang you're close with closer with your dad. Mm-hmm. Uy, ang cute, no? Kasi hindi naman lahat ng lalaki parang mahilig tumakbo sa parents. Mm. Diba? The usual thing na parang pag heartbroken ka or iniwan ka na kaibigan or nasasaktan ka, you don't immediately call your parents just to say, Mom, I'm hurt. Or ganito. Pero ikaw, hindi ka nahiya sa emotions mo or sobrang vocal ka sa parents mo about what's happening t- sa'yo. Because of that phone call that I had with my dad, I feel so comfortable with them. Diba? Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's my point. Kaya nga, dati may meron akong boyfriend. Tapos sinikreto ko talaga sa parents ko. And I was really having a hard time. No, when we broke up, it's because kailangan ko siyang i-face alone. Kasi hindi ko naman sinabi sa parents ko na parang, uy, may ano ako, may, may boyfriend ako. So, nung umiiyak ako, alam, bigla akong sabihin sa kanila na nag-break kami without actually them knowing na I was in a relationship. Pero today, we are going to talk about happy break. Why do you consider that breakup a happy break? Because I feel like when it comes to breakup, you can learn a lot from it. Exactly. Yeah. And then like, even for those people who go to the gym, if you get a breakup, grabe, ang sarap ng feeling sa mapumunta sa gym. Why? Because mm. when you lift the weights, parang, you remember all those memories you had with her and then parang, I, I can carry heavy, ganun, ganun. Mm-hmm. And then it's not just only about like, yung sa gym, parang, you think more about your life, you learn more about yourself and mm-hmm. then you learn a lot. And Was I she hope, your ano, first girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, sobrang hirap nun. Grade 10. Yeah. 
grade then tapos nagtuloy-tuloy na. Hmm. It was up and down. Kami, then break, then kami naman, then break na agad. Usually kasi pag bata, hindi ko naman siguro, again, ang maturity naman, hindi naman siya nakadepende sa age nyo. So, depende pa rin talaga. But usually kasi pag nag-aaral ka, it's hard to balance relationship and studies. Naniniwala ka doon. Yeah. And then, ano, she was a volleyball player, I was a basketball player, oh. and then sobrang... Ano oh, school? Ateneo de Cebu. Ah. Do pa rin uusap pa rin kayo until no hindi na talaga never. Hindi na. Distant friend. Mm-mm. I support her in her like whatever she does and what not and I think she kind of supports me also. Mm-mm. This is one of the controversial questions that I would like to ask after yeah. couples breaking up. If ever na babalik siya sa iyo, natanong ko na rin to sa mga na ano, if ever yung ex mo na sobrang minahal mo, babalik sa iyo. Will you still give that person a second chance? If they change, only if they change, and if if something about the relationship had changed, because if the, if nothing changed and then balik kayo, it's just it's not gonna work out. But diba, if you accept someone to be part of your life again, how will you know if that person changed already? You have to give it a chance. If so, they change, risk pa din, no. Mm. So parang for example, ako makikipagbalik ako sa so, tans. I want this to work out again. So parang pag tinanggap mo ako, tapos tayo na ulit non, parang ganon, and then. Paano mo malalaman na ay sakto tong risk na to? Tama lang na binigyan ko siya ng chance. Thi- ano yung mga changes na feeling mo? The things that didn't work out in the relationship before, it's working out in the new relationship. I think that's when you're like, okay, we can give it a shot. Mm. Exactly, totoo naman. Kasi di ba, for example, pag dadaan ka daw sa kalsada, pag alam mong sa first time mong dumaan doon, tapos walang, walang lights, di ba? Tapos nag- nagkaroon ng aksidente. Dadaan ka pa ba doon kung alam mong maaksidente ka ulit kasi walang lights? Siyempre, do- hihintayin mo na may magbago. Hihintayin mo na ma-repair na yung lights. Hihintayin mo na may lights ka na din para hindi ka na maaksidente the second time around. But can you tell us a short or a brief summary of what happened to the both of you? Paano kayo nagkakilala? Paano nag-change yung relationship nyo? Paano kayo nag-on and off? And how did it end? So, the first relationship well, I knew like a senior volleyball player, and then she, like she was like, oh, there's a new student here. I'll I'll like introduce you to her, mm-hmm. and then we started talking and whatnot. And then she was a new student, so I would also show her around the school. Mm-hmm. And then, then I was like one of her first friends in the school. From there on, like we built my chemistry, and making kami. I remember confessing to her in like the second floor canteen. Wow, um, detailed. Mm-hmm. Then like I still remember giving her my jersey and whatnot. Oh. And then uh, we broke up because grabbing specific para yung mga tao sa Cebu they'll know who this is. Anyways, it's in the past. Um, she went to a tournament to like another province, and then she met someone new. And then, but I didn't know that Mm-mm. she just broke up with me from white lie. She didn't really tell me the reason. Ah, so when we had break, she what did she say? Parang I don't want you na. Parang it's not working. And I was just like, what did I do wrong? Did you beg? No. Parang I was like. I, well, I just wanted to know what did I do wrong? Like, what's the reason for this breakup? It was very vague. I couldn't tell why. parang if when you hear that type of reason, parang, shit, am I, am I the, did I do something wrong? Mm. You question your self worth. You question, damn, did, did, did I do, did I do too much? Did I do too little? Stuff mm. like that. And then a few months later, she told me she was meeting someone new, and then she met them at tournament. And that's why she broke up with me. And then she asked me for my, my for my forgiveness and whatnot. And I was like, yeah, it's all good. But months already has passed. And after that, when it was the new school year, it felt weird. Like like she replaced me and whatnot. And then I didn't, whenever she would say hi to me, I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't say hi back. You had a bitterness. Oh, because that's when I knew the, the real reason that, Oh, you broke up with me because you replaced me with someone else. And then she replaced me with a girl. And I was like, Oh, that's mm. what I'm about to ask. Because I said in the tournament, and then when I said, Ah, maybe a girl. So, but it may offend. So, at least it came to you. Like that. How did you feel about it? I mean, is it more hurtful when you go back to the girl or when you go back to the girl? Both of it hurts the same. Because oh, when you really love her, right? And then like, it didn't hurt so much because I didn't do anything wrong. She did something wrong and she was asking for my forgiveness. So I was there like, well, you have to live with this guilt. Ako, I'm chill. I didn't do anything wrong. You left me. And this is me now. Back then, I didn't see it this way. And you left me. I'm good. I didn't do anything wrong in the relationship. It's your loss. Pero yung ex na yun, ha? we are pertaining to that ex. If ever babalik siya, ngayon, ngayon mismo, ngayong araw na to, will you still accept that person? I don't think so. Na. No na? No. 
When I was grade 10. So, mga uh, six years ago? Five years ago? Oh, six years. Ah, oh, matagal na rin. For sure, ikaw sobrang ano. Hindi, I'm, I'm not saying na fully healed ka na, but at least nakapag-move forward ka na from oh, that yeah. pain. Oo, oh, oh, grabe no. Ang hirap. It, the hardest part about uh, parang pag ikaw yung iniwan, instead na i-question mo sila, kung na-question mo yung sarili mo, kasi you oh. feel like you're not enough. Yeah, no? exactly. And oh. because you feel like, alam mo yun, yung parang ikaw pa yung may kulang, where in fact, wala ka naman mo ginawa eh. You yeah. just love that person. Tapos, ba't ganun? Siya na yung nagloko, siya na yung may iba, pero bakit sarili ko pa din yung kino-question ko? Exactly. Why do you think we end up asking ourselves if we're not enough? Because I feel like some people, they don't really know their worth. Oo, tama. Parang they feel like their worth is based on how much someone loved them. But then, you should love yourself first. And then that's the thing that parang because of that breakup, I realized like, I'm actually okay. I'm a good person. I treated her right. And if she didn't want that, then it's not my fault. Parang it's hers. Sometimes it's not about you. It's about the other partner. Parang maybe they didn't want to have a relationship. Maybe they aren't ready. So stuff like that. You And then when you realize that you don't really question your worth, parang you can say now, It didn't work out. The relationship was good. It was an experience that I can learn from and just move forward. So after that relationship, hindi ka na ulit sumubok? We, we were up and down. So yeah, I went back to her. We talked again and then we tried to make it work out. It didn't and whatnot. And then the girl that she... She dating. She dated uh-huh. was my classmate. <gasps> nung bagong school year. Ah, so nag-transfer? Yeah. Sa, sa inyo? Mm. Ooh. And then sobrang awkward kasi... Oh. I, during our retreat, she told me like, I didn't like you at first. I really hated you. Yo, yung girl na dinate niya? Oh. Sinabi niya sa'yo? Oh. Okay. I didn't, and, but then she realized na you did nothing wrong. It was all her. Um, she she was toxic. I didn't even know na she would leave you for me. Ah, nag-break na sila nun? Mm. So they didn't last din talaga na sobrang tagal na. Mm. Ah, so parang after, ay after nung school year na yun, tapos may bago ng school year, wala na sila nun. Hindi, sila pa. And ay, then, bakit niya sinasabi sa'yo na toxic yung girl? That was like grade 12 na. So a year after. Ah, okay. So wala na sila nun. Mm. Mm. And then, her family didn't like the girl. She, Her family liked me. Um, when her family knew that she broke up with me, Mm-mm. like when she would re- win awards, like they wouldn't congratulate her na because when they realized, na, oh, they, bisexual, ganun, no. they were like upset because they're really Catholic. Uh-oh. But I have nothing against them. Oh, no, and then I felt like, damn, like your family is upset with you and do you see like, you don't see anything wrong with what you're doing. Mm-mm. But then, that's all in the past. Oh. At least, di ba, natuto ka. So, what's the greatest thing that you've learned all throughout the relationship that you've had with that person? You shouldn't, you should know your worth. You should really know your worth. If if somebody doesn't want to be with you, then you just walk the other way. Because if you like, if you keep giving yourself to them and just lowers your value to them, like, oh, gusto kita. Like, I would always, like, I would still love her even after if makita kami parang my heart would hurt and then like looking back I'm just there like damn I was kind of stupid like you're still chasing after her after what she did and then over time I learned that you shouldn't like you should know your worth Mm-mm. if you know your worth you wouldn't settle for less exactly yun lang naman yung kulang talaga sa mga tao eh. we keep loving parang mahal lang tayo ng mahal without actually realizing that before we love others we should love ourselves exactly first kasi hindi mo naman mabibigay sa ibang tao yung wala ka eh. Hmm. Diba? Mahal mo nga sila, ba't hindi mo mahal yung sarili mo? And then if you don't love yourself and you enter in, into a relationship, and then when they leave you, parang, what am I left with? Yeah, sabi nga ni, I don't know if you know Scott Statlino. Yung sabi ni Scott Statlino, wag mo daw gawing mundo, yung alam mong tao lang. Hmm. Diba? That's, yun yung medyo, ano din sa atin. Parang dapat nating, hindi na rin normalize yung ginagawa nating mundo, yung mga tao na dapat ka-relationship lang natin. Kasi pag nawala sila, matik tayo din wala. Mm. Iniwan natin yung friends natin for them kasi busy tayo sa kanila. Exactly. Tapos pag nawala sila, eh yung friends natin, wala na din. Di ba parang nagkaroon tayo ng solo. Pero, nung nakipag-break siya sa'yo, what's, ano, what did you do to make her stay? Yung parang after breaking up, sabi mo ba, hindi, dapat tayo pa. Or, I want to know what's those actions na ginawa mo, like begging or something. I gave some time off with the relationship. Ah, and... talagang after yung sinabi yun, talagang, sige, okay, if that's what you want, gumanon ka? No, parang like, we wouldn't talk for months and whatnot. And then like, after a while, we would be, I would like chatter, ah, kumusta ka na, ganun. And like, how have you been? Mm-hmm. And the conversation would just flow. And then we like, we would meet up, oh, let's eat lunch together, ganun. Aww. Di ba? 
Uh-huh. And then like, do you want na to try again and whatnot? Ah, nagtatanong ka ng ganun. Mm. It was never the same after. Especially knowing what she did. Oh, oh. Mm. Pero were you afraid of ha- being in a new relationship again after what happened? Natakot oh, yeah. ka ba? Oh, yeah. Parang oh. like, it's hard to open up your heart again to someone when it's been hurt. Diba? Yeah. Tapos imagine those sleepless nights na kakaisip mo what went wrong or kakaisip or I don't know if you're crying pero ako kasi last resort ko talaga in every pain na nararamdaman ko I always cry. Yeah. And that's medyo medyo red flag na matuturing ko sa akin because every little thing talagang iniiyak ko because that that comforts me a lot. So parang ayoko na maulit yun. That's why I'm having a hard time trusting someone again. Kasi I feel like, for example, ikaw, dumating ka sa life ko. Feeling ko sasaktan mo agad-agad ako. Mm. Meron na agad akong prejudice sa'yo without actually parang experiencing it first hand. Parang, that's, that's why you need to go through the process of healing. Oo. Oh, oh, mm. Kailangan accept. Pero you think ba, for example, ako, I'm afraid to start all over again with a new person. Do you think I'm not fully healed? A little bit. I mean... You can't help it because of what happened before. Mm-hmm. There, the the experience is there. The memories are there. The trauma is there. Mm-mm. So you can't just be like, oh, ready na ako. It takes time. You really have to find it within yourself. Totoo, mm-hmm. no? So, di ba, sabi mo sa akin kanina, may naka-situation. Wala, ba't ka kinikilig? <laughs> Siya pa rin ba hanggang ngayon? Hindi, hindi na. Ah, wala na. Matagal no. na. Mm-hmm. Wala kang girl ngayon sa buhay mo. Meron. Ah, meron. Maliban sa nanay ha, kapatid or what. Yung totoong parang romantically involved ka. I'm meeting someone. Yeah. Right. So, nung sakat situationship mo, parang di ba, gano'n ba katagal bago ka nagkaroon ng situationship after that break? Pandemic. Ah, pandemic lang. So, pandemic was like my healing time. Tapos, ang hirap pa nun. Kasi syempre, pandemic, nasa bahay ka lang. Yeah. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na, I'll make myself busy kasi bawal nga lumabas, di ba? I made myself busy kasi... This is what happened during the pandemic. I spent one month bedridden. Because two days or three days before the lockdown, I had a grade three sprain. So I was bedridden for one month to the point where I would have bed bruises. There's already bruises in the back because I would lay down for every day. And then after that, when I was back, na, I would like exercise in the We had a small basketball ring, so I'm shooting, shooting. Ako, mm-hmm. So just to keep myself busy. And then all while she's in the back of my mind, Oh, no. Parang like, oh, let's wake up 5 a.m. Parang shooting tayo. Like, you should release the stress into exercise. Pero at least, yung sayo, hindi iyak ng iyak. At least yung sayo, parang, parang nakakatulong pa sa stamina mo, sa body mo. Mm. And th- do you think it helped you? Parang making you s- yourself busy just to forget that person? Not to forget them, but to, parang, you translate that pain to something useful. That's, a, that's what I said, like, about gym, about sa basketball. Mm-mm. Actually, my, when... We broke up. I I also asked my senior teammates. Like they they they, they noticed I was like sad, and then I asked them, bro, what advice can you give me? And then they said, nah, you have to translate that into your practices. When you're okay, your heart broken. Okay, you do extra shooting. You do extra weight. But uh, like you can put that pain into something useful, and then like our practice would end at seven thirty. I would be there until eight thirty or nine just shooting. And then I would just be alone. And then I would just talk to myself, mm. thinking about her. <laughs> and also just thinking about the relationship. But then during those moments, I was able to like, oh, I was able to better myself in basketball and better my mind. Because basketball for me was therapy. Do something, I had to go somewhere so that I could just like heal myself and then mm. just relax. Oh, that was basketball for me. Mm. Ah, so basketball varsity ka nung nasa grade school ka something. Mm. So, oh. See, yeah, grade 8 to grade 12 sa, ano, grade 9 to grade 12 sa Ateneo de Cebu. Oo, oh, kaya pala. Since kanina, di ba napag-usapan natin na parang this is what we are going to talk about. Happy breakup. What, aside from those basket things na minention mo that you translated it into your practices, what are other things that made it parang positive after yung parang what's the ang hirap niya i-translate sa words. Di ba kasi ang topic natin si happy breakup? Mm. What are the things na parang feeling mo sobrang nag-improve after those after that breakup or yung mga positive things na nangyari sa'yo because of that breakup? I enjoy, I learned how to enjoy my own company. Ah, kaya mo nang mag-isa. I mean, for me, you have to learn how to love your own company. Mm-hmm. You have to know how to like out on the street for 15 minutes and then you just enjoy yourself, enjoy the nature and then like Going to the cafe alone, something like that. Still have a good time by myself. Mm-mm. And that was like something I didn't know before after the situation. Lang. 
Ah, uh, doon mo na na-realize after yung situationship. Mm. Yung situationship mo ba more like parang may lab, parang kayo pero walang kayo. Mm, exactly. Ginagawa niyo oh. ng mga bag. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, uh, what's the difference dahil na experience mo naman na both? What do you think are the differences ng may label kayo sa wala? There's a clear like understanding or clear boundary of like oh, if parang if relationship, you can't talk to other guys, kanan ganon mm-hmm. tayo na. If it's a situationship, parang it's not really clear like Are you talking to other guys? Am I really the one? Like, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh, tell us about your situation, Chip. So, yeah, we met because of pageantry. Mm-mm. And... Oh, wait lang. Naglaban kayo. Ay, hindi. Parang sa isang pageant, kayo nagkakilaw kayo. Yeah. Uh, I knew her because we were tra- training in the same place. Oh, okay. And then, her best friend retold me to her. And then, like, we talked. And then, we spent time with each other. Like, after ng training namin, uh, after ng training ko, I like, Like spend Future, like talk with talk with each other until like 2 a.m. So co- not sa condonia parang sa Go ground sa ground floor yeah, sa condonia. Si mm. I didn't wanna like I don't want to invade someone's place. Uh-uh. Parang it's it's their room, it's mm-hmm. personal, de ba? And then like yeah, things progressed. And then when I went back to Cebu, nag usap pa kami. Taka Cebu ba siya? Pero ah, nag usap kayo through calls, chats, ganon. Mm. Oh, and then. And then like. When I went back to Manila, like I would meet, we we had dinners. Kuyug kuyug ko yung kuyug. Kasama. Na kasama ko yung friends niya from here and whatnot. Uh-uh. So I I thought okay, the relationship's going well. And big lang siya na go sa akin. Wait lang, gaano katagal? <laughs> Five months. Five months, and you were really attached to that person. Yeah, because like imagine after the pandemic, and then like you're just all alone. Siguro magusap ka, you chat people and whatnot. But I don't. I don't put meaning into like online 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 chats lang. Ah, so kung may nagpapakit sa isang chat, hindi mo siya maano. Oh, like a little lang pero iba yung iba yung in person. Like when you really get to meet them, when you see them, when you can like see their smile, see them laugh, Mm-mm. stuff like that. Like see how they are. Mm-mm. Iba, di ba? It's different. Naiintindihan kita sa part na yung attachment mo dun sa taong yun. Because after that breakup na nagkaroon ka, tapos parang ayaw mo na ulit mag-trust. Pero may isang tao na biglang babaguhin yung pananaw mo sa love. Tapos biglang magtitiwala ka ulit, magtitrust ka. But why did you let it parang tumagal pa ng five months? Where in fact, pwede nyo namang i-level up yun if gugustuhin nyo eh. Well, I mean, before she ghosted you. I went back to Manila around September, Mm-mm. and I told myself last September. Oh, I told myself if I'm going to like propose something like that, I will do it in person. Mm-mm. And I told myself I'll do it after four dates. So we only had two dates. I never reached the four. Wait, lang. Why not two dates? It's five months, guys. So all no, no, no. chats. Na. When I went back to September, I told myself, okay, have four dates. The, since ever since I came back, ah, and yun, then sorry. after that, on the fourth date, that's when you. I was already thinking, okay, dito tayo kakain, okay, yung siguro yung friends niya magrecord sa amin kano. Oh, I was thinking, cute. oh, I'd buy the flowers here. Mm, what like maybe I'll also buy like a jewelry or something. Uh-huh. Or, yeah, hindi na tuloy. Ang cute mo tan. <laughs> Pero nung parang ghost, parang nag-usap kayo, just biglang nawala na lang siya. Hmm. Wait, as chat kana chat nina siya nagre reply. Yeah, and then I would like I would like ask her friends what happened to her. Kano is some, did something happen? Mm-hmm. And then like she they just said no. Oh, she's just here. Why? What happened? So she's just here. So ibig sabi na kakasama nila. Mm. Pero hindi ka lang nagre reply. Mm. Never mong parang pinuntahan sa practices or something. I was thinking of doing that. It it was in the back of my mind. Mm-hmm. Pero I was just there like, what if like she needs her alone time? I would just give her time and time, and then I just realized now. Oh. She doesn't want to meet me na kanon. She doesn't want to reply to you. Why would you go to her, de ba? Pero if ever na bumalik siya noon na din. Unless something has changed. You have like I I I asked myself this question. What if they came back into your life? Like would you still accept them? Well, back then I was just there like no, like I open I don't want her anymore. She mm-hmm. hurt me, blah blah blah. Like damn, like I don't I didn't deserve that. But then looking at it now from a mature perspective, if something has changed, you should give them a chance. Pero it's not only them that has to change. Uh-uh. Have you healed? Have you changed? Are you ready? Like you've already had an experience with that person. Kaya mo ba mag relationship naman agad? Toto. Diba? But what happened after that? Parang did you confront her with in person or sa chat lang? Naglong message ko ba sa kanya after what happened? Kasi uso yun diba pag iniwan ka or na ano ka parang dun. Kasi hindi naman kayo nakikita dun. Uso yung parang ang haba-haba ng chat mo na. Gusto kong malaman what happened. Yeah. Are you okay? Ganun. Yeah. I, I, I really called her friend and whatnot. 
na like what happened like is she like this and then she said na hindi naman she she's, she's not like this all the time or like oh i remember no i remember she said na oh if it's like this i think she's ghosting you and i was just there like why did i do something gonna gonna mm-hmm. I, i think i I thought na I did nothing wrong in their relationship. I really loved her. I really took care of her. And then yeah, she her best friend called her like why are you doing this tatan thing? Yeah. Like did something happen? And then um because her friend confronted her, she texted me like a long message. Sha. Oh. And then and I was just there like okay, take your time. Uh, I was like okay. Ah, uh, in explain niya. Ginya na justify niya kung bakit ginoost ka niya. Hmm. Parang sorry, kailangan ko lang mm. sarili ko. Hindi, hindi pa ako ready ng relationship. I'm like, they're like, oh my God. But right now, thinking about what happened, do you have now a clear picture or vision as to why she ghosted you? Like yung totoong reason, hindi dahil she needs some time alone. I have a vague, like, I Until think I... Until now, vague pa din. I have a vague understanding. You, you will never know unless you really hear it from them. Exactly. Pero understanding like her upbringing, her past relationships, parang... You're there, like ah, this is why this happened. So right now, do you want do you want to still know? For example, kung bibiya ka ng chance, mas gugu gusto mo bang marinig yung reason niya kung bakit kanya ginus or mas okay na yung ganyan na parang biglaan na lang. The closure that I need is just the fact that she ghosted me. That's more than enough. Exactly, because sabi nga nila, di ba? Having no closure is still a closure. Yeah. Because sometimes yun nga eh, yun na yung closure na hinanap mo. That just goes to show na ayaw niya nga sa yun mm. because. And isa pa sa mga nakikita ko, why people ghosts, is it's because of the idea na it's hard to say goodbye. Especially if it's not yet your time to say goodbye. Yeah, and I feel like people ghost kasi they're afraid to confront you in person. Exactly. Kasi eh, probably ayaw niyong masaktan ka or baka takot din talaga siyang magsabi. Like me, dati talaga, I know this is not something that you should be emulating, pero dati talaga, nanggo-ghost din ako na, mahilig ako mang ghost lalo na pag girls ka o pag babae ka, ang hirap, di ba? Ang hirap magsabi ng parang, lalo pag bata ka pa, parang bala ka dyan, wag na lang. Mm. Diretso mo lang mag-go ka na na parang walang nangyari. I, parang, feel like, I feel like some people aren't deserving of ghosting. Exactly. There are some relationships uh-huh. where you really have to be there like, okay, break na tayo, pero I want to do this properly. I want to show you that I want to break up, but I'll do this the right way. Pero kasi sa ghosting, parang it's not the right Ikaw way. Ikaw ba, hindi mo pa natry na parang biglang mawala na lang. For example, sa isang may ka-situationship ka or may jowa ka, biglang, you didn't even bother to say goodbye. No, I'm not like that. Whenever, as in kahit nung bata ka pa. Mm. Kasi di ba pag bata pa tayo, parang nakakatakot manakit ng iba. Nakakatakot well, na I've, mapaiyak. I've never been in that position na I can, like, I'll, I'll hurt someone. I've never been in that position and I don't want to. Mm-mm. Kasi if you, if they like you, you have to treasure those feelings. You can't just like, Ah, ayaw, ayaw ko na. Ganun. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? Am I just garbage? Like, you don't want to throw those feelings away. You have to, like, let them down softly. If you want to break up with someone, you have to let them down softly. You have to do it the right way. Because it also, the way you break up shows how much you cared about them. Diba? Tama, tama. O, oh, eto naman, sinabi mo kanina sa akin na parang mas mahirap pa yung break up mo sa situationship. Why? Compared dun sa may label na relationship. Based on your experience, of course. Bakit? Because I was, I was about to, like, propose or like ask parang yun be, na eh parang mm, okay na ulit eh mm, and I was already like oh, you fantasize na oh okay mag mag propose na ako and then okay uh, I'll introduce her to my family and mm-hmm. whatnot. okay like oh mag dinner tayo ganun okay I'll I'll have days where I can meet her stuff like that you're already planning ahead and then hindi na tuloy eh. mm, mm. tapos hindi na kayo nag-usap ulit hindi na you, sh- you, you, you can't ano it's disrespect to myself if I reach out to her and then ayaw niya sa akin di ba? Parang like, oh, she doesn't want to talk to you. Then why do you want to talk to her? Grabe ka, no? Kasi marami ngayon sa generation natin, marami pa rin nagbebeg ayun. Kahit hindi ka na kinakausap at pinapansin, talagang chinachat at chinachat mo pa rin na, uy, let's talk. That's why I'm, I hope some people out there know na you have to have that self-respect. You have to have that self-love. If they don't want you, goodbye, next. Move on. So ngayon, mga gano'ng kakatagal bago nakapag-move forward from that situation ship? from September and then imagine how September November was my competition ng Mr. Pilipinas Mr. Beauty International ah iba yun mm. so like grabe even when I was there I was still thinking about her when I was there I blocked her Instagram I blocked her Twitter so I just I would just have a peace of mind where did it help? nagbulinak mo siya? yeah mm. because like 
even on the trip going there, I was still thinking about her and whatnot. And I was just there like, you have to have a peace of mind. You have to like level it out because you're going to be competing internationally. You're going to be representing the Philippines. And if you're going to screw this up just because you're thinking about her, well, yeah. As a country yun. Sa Tapos, Turkey. Oh, malayo-layo din yun. Tapos, nung nandun ka sa competition, nag-reach out naman siya sa'yo or something na, wala na talaga after that. Wala. Grabe no, ang hirap. Pero buti na lang, hindi pa kayo nagkita after what happened because it's hard. Kahit ikaw mismo parang, shocks, ano kayong magiging reaction namin sa isa't isa? I've, I've thought about it if ever magkita kami. I would just like walk by her. You know? Without saying hi. No. Ito no. nah. yung sinayang mo. Parang Kasi ganun. self-respect. If you have that self-respect, if you know your worth, then why would you say hi? Mm-hmm. Siya dapat mag-hi una. Totoo. Anong naitulong sa'yo nung breakup ng situation ship niya? Para mabuo yung pants ngayon? Well, what helped me the most and what I always do is I would always talk to people. I would, I would talk to my cousins, I would talk to my aunties and then just tell them about my their relationship. I would talk to anyone. Just, just like, I want to hear your perspective about it. And then when you hear their perspective and they give you advice, I feel like everyone's like, willing to give advice about relationships es- especially my older cousins like they've been in a lot of relationships they're mature and i learned so much from them that i instill within myself and because of them like i was able to heal even recently like there was someone in my life right? heal ka ulit? N- n- parang yeah. i was talking to someone else oh my god kaka break ay kaka ano lang ulit n- di, di, di. like last month wait lang di ba may kausap ka ngayon mm. yan ba yung last month or hindi no, and then like I know, um, she was she the one last one she said like oh she wasn't ready for a relationship and whatnot. Then when she said that I didn't reply na. Move forward, go on. Wait lang, hindi ko kasi magets kasi nung nakita kita in person, guys FYI ha, si Tans po sobrang pogi in person. Like matalino, pag makikita mo siya parang talaga. Tapos ngayon hearing your stories, it made me feel like why? Why do you think lagging na sa talking stage? Di ba? Ito yung parang Ito yung pinakamagandang example na tinatambayan yung talking stage just never na pursue dun sa my label. I feel like with my situations, Mm-mm. I feel like it was them. They just weren't ready. Uh-oh. Kasi ako, I'm like... You were born ready. No, hindi naman. <laughs> Parang, I'm traditional. Like, if if I'm courting you, then I'll take the proper steps. Mm-mm. And I'm not just here for like, ah, I just want to talk to someone. No. If I'm talking to you, I see a potential of being in a relationship. Uh-oh. But not everyone thinks like that. Mm-mm. So... Some people are just there like, okay, um, na, we tried it out and whatnot. Okay, goodbye. I, I don't I don't I don't see like myself doing that. Mm. Naman, after hearing those stories, let us talk about the positivity or the positive things that are really that a breakup can do to you. Diba? Kanina sabi mo na enjoy mo na yung own company mo. Parang that's one of the greatest thing na na-achieve mo after that breakup. What else can you tell na pwede or mga potential na pwede mong um, ma-achieve after a breakup? Ito yung tinatawag natin na happy breakup. Kung baga puro positive lang yung nabibigay sa'yo. The breakups that I had, I always turned it into a positive. Mm-hmm. Like, um, ever since the situation ship, I would read a lot. I would write a lot. Like Journal? Parang ganun. Parang like, yung mga thoughts mo, you have to write it down so that you wouldn't overthink. I th- overthink a lot. Mm-hmm. So like, writing it down, like, it really helps. And like, what else? Um, reading. Reading really helped me. Like, my cousins, my older cousins, they would all read. And I was always there, like, I'm not a reader and whatnot. But because of that breakup, I was like, no, let me try it. And I've learned so much from reading. Like, I haven't even finished a book. I've been reading a lot of books. I haven't even finished one. That's but, based on naman. Oh, but I've learned so much. Pero paano yun? Ako na-try ko din magbasa. Pero pag nami-mix-mix ko na yung mga ano, parang nakakalimutan ko na saan yun. Well, if you if you want reading to help you, you also have to apply it. Oo. Mm. Like, it just can't be like, oh, you read it, then you think about it, and then walang application. You have to apply it in your life. Mm-mm. Like, I remember reading a book called Atomic Habits. And it was like, it said, there's one specific part where it said na, your environment will dictate the type of person you are. If you hang out with people who aren't like who want to achieve a lot in life, then you'll probably end up like them. Mm-hmm. If you if you're surrounded with people who are like power like have a positive mindset who are who wants to achieve a lot in life, who wants to be great, who wants to be fit, ganun, you'll also be like them. So mm-hmm. you have to really be careful of your environment. You have to control it as much as possible. Dito na pumapasok yung famous quote na tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Exactly. Diba? Kaya importante pa rin talaga. It's not, ano, it's not a bad thing that you are picky with your friends. Yeah. Actually, sobrang important. Bahala na konti lang. As long as 
it's ano parang puro positive yun na pupunta sa and winning mindset talaga i think that's okay kaya dati sobrang natatakot ako ma- mag-lose ng friends i feel like pag konti na lang friends ko hindi ako in wala na akong kaibigan pero the, as i grow older primary realize mo na okay lang maliit yung circle mo at least totoo yeah. okay lang maliit yung circle mo at least parang genuine lahat ng nangyayari sa and the real ones will stay exactly Oh, aside from those, what else? I feel like, especially with guys, this mm-hmm. is a popular thing with guys, the gym. Oh my God. Oh, oh. After a breakup, I've seen so many guys, even on TikTok, even on like, yung mga circle of friends ko, even when I go to the gym, mm-hmm. like talk to them, get to know them. A lot of them go to the gym because of a heartbreak. Nag-open up din kayo ng mga ganyang bagay. Oh. Kasi guys, di ba parang hindi mo maiisip? Kasi may kasama kami dito. Sobrang addict niya rin sa gym. And now, syempre, sa industry naman ninyo, or even kahit sa content creating, hindi ba iwasan yung mental break- breakdown? So, we asked him, sabi ko, ano ba yung pinakamaganda para mabalik ulit sa tamang state yung mind mo? Sabi niya, go to the gym. Yeah. Sobrang laking tulong daw talaga nun para maging okay ulit yung mental state niya. Kasi dati, dati daw ako hindi siya nag-gym. Probably yung bashers ngayon na pinabash siya, baka naapektuhan na siya. But with the help of gym, talagang na ano niya, na sabi niya na parang wala na akong pakialam, basta okay ako. Yeah. And sa sobrang addict niya sa gym, nagpatayo rin siya ng sarili niyong gym ngayon. Mm, ba diba? diba? It's so amazing. So ngayon, as we end this podcast, what are your advice naman to those... Guys, hindi lang guys, lahat ng tao who goes through the process of breakup, tas feeling nila wala nang positive na pwedeng mangyari sa kanila. Well, my advice for them would be if you're hurting from a relationship, then you're doing something right. If you, if it hurts, if it what not, but it's up to you, it's up to you if you want to turn it into something positive. Mm-mm. It's up to you whether you sulk and cry and like you hide yourself in your room and what not or if you translate that into something positive, if you Let's say go to the gym, learn more about yourself, learn to love yourself, learn to know more about your self worth. Especially like there's this one person uh, I watch a lot, see Wizard of Liz. Mm. She's such a powerful person, and then I really learned like if the person doesn't want to be with you or na break kayo or if na ghost ka, then move on. Because they don't want to be with you. It's it's also sometimes not about you; it's about them. And then when you realize that um, these relationships that happen let's say in a break you it didn't work out toxic yung tao or what not what not if it didn't work out with them it's just leading you to the to the one to the right relationship tama mm. diba kaya wag kayong matakot dun sa mga nasayang na relationship especially if sila yung lumayo mm. because that only goes to show that you are one step closer to what God has instilled for you exactly diba kasi aminin natin nakakatakot naman maiwan pero imagine yung time and resources na pwedeng masayang pag nagstay ka pa dun sa taong hindi naman talaga para sa sa'yo diba kesa ihanap mo dun sa panibagong tao na probably times to yung pwedeng happiness na mabigay sa sa'yo that's why also If I may say yes. with you, like, parang, but if you're not yet ready, then don't head into a new relationship. Pero imagine, like, you put yourself out there and you see, you find the one, or even if they're not the one, it's one step closer to the one. But diba? it's like nice if you think about it that way. Exactly. Ang ganda ng mga ganto ng usapan. It's because you will slowly feel na parang ah, eto paling worth ko, mm-hmm. de ba? Na sa lahat ng heartbreaks, okay lang huyu kayo ngayon, kasi at least because of that mas minamahal ko yung sarili ko. Exactly. Oh, de ba? Eto naman if there's, de ba? May kausap ka ngayon. Mm-hmm. You have a girl and natatakot ka ba na maulit yung mga dating nga? At kakinikilin. <laughs> if you are watching this, yah upload ko puto sa TikTok ko, pakitang nat. <laughs> huh. mm, yeah, I think there's a little bit of fear. But then that's a part of trying to be in a relationship. You have to be willing to put yourself out there and like, okay, even though if there's a chance that I'll get hurt, I'll put myself out there to try and love. Pero ito feeling mo naman. Sya na yung babae na willing kang magtake ng risk, like to commit again. Actually, okay, I'm I'm more than okay to to commit. Hindi 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 naman ako parang like I've I think I've healed naman. So once you once you're healed and whatnot, and then you're then you have a good mindset, then you're willing to put yourself out there. That's that's how you have a good healthy start to a, a possible new relationship. Because if you didn't heal, let's say like oh I'm still hurting and whatnot, and I'm just looking for relationships, it won't last long. Mm-mm. It's not a quality relationship. Parang you're just okay. like the date date kalang, and then what if that person was ready and you weren't? But sometimes it's not about them. It's about it's not about you. It's a lot of stuff with it, but. Para sa akin, 
I think no, I know that I'm more than ready to be in a relationship. And yeah, if you give your chance, if you give yourself a chance to love someone, there's also a chance that I'm hurt. Ka. But if you know that if they're if they're worth it, then yeah, kaya mo yan. Mm. Naman, to wrap up our podcast for today. What's your message to the next girl that you will love? Please take care of me. Um, there are times that I may be too much or that you may be too much, but if you can, if we communicate and we share each other's feelings and um, I'm more than willing to grow with you and I'm more than willing to love you till the end of my life. Hmm. Don't worry. Alam mo ba, Tans? You will never be too much uh, sa tamang tao. Yeah. Tandaan mo yan. Hindi ka, kaya walang paka kung OA ka man, kung ganito ka man, you will never be too much for the right person. Diba? Kaya naman, Tans, thank you so much for this ano, meaningful, wonderful, amazing, beautiful conversation <laughs> with you. Uh, and of course, thank you so much. And guys, please don't forget to follow our social media accounts. That's Fairfax Network channel on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And again, the opinions expressed by guests and hosts are solely theirs and do not reflect the opinions and beliefs of the show, channel, and its affiliates. And please don't forget to follow me in all my social media accounts. So that's Gandang Morning sa Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Kumo, and ayun lang. I hope you enjoyed. Ilang minuto na naman po ulit ang ating pinagsamahan na kung saan na puno tayo ng kwentuhan, chikahan, at syempre tawanan. Dito pa rin yan sa More with Morings. Once again, this is Morings saying being different is okay. Bye!